evening and welcome to the election radar. As part of our ongoing coverage right here on NDTV, we are crisscrossing the length and breadth of Uttar Pradesh. We covered election phase one, phase two, and now it's time for phase three. On our journey, which started from Noida to Aligarh to Deoban, Saharanpur to Muzaffarnagar to Rampur to Swar to Bareli, Shah Jahanpur, Kasganj, back to Rampur, and now from Rampur to this very, very important seat of Karhal. Now, Karhal has its own importance. Number one, it's five kilometers away from Akhilesh Yadav and Mulayam Singh Yadav's native village called Saife. Karhal is the stronghold of the Samajwadi party. Karhal is a place where Mulayam Singh Yadav attended college and then taught students in the very same college. The Samajwadi party feels that they have their bright prospects with Akhilesh Yadav contesting from Karhal because it will have an influence in the entire region and in effect the entire state. So on the show tonight, the big question that we are asking or at least trying to decode, can the Samajwadi party save its Karhal fortress from the Bharatiya Janata Party. Now let's explain this first with the help of some easy to understand graphics. Why did Akhilesh Yadav choose Karhal? Well, number one, Karhal is a Samajwadi Party bastion. The Samajwadi Party won six out of seven times since the formation of this Vidhan Sabha constituency. Akhilesh choosing Azamgarh could have been seen as an attempt to consolidate the Muslim Yadav vote. Remember, he's an MP from Azamgarh. But choosing Karhal will be seen as an effort to project himself as a socialist leader, the guy who's taking forward the legacy of his father. Let's now take a look at the constituency, Karhal constituency, and then I'll explain the greater meaning behind him choosing this place and its impact, larger impact in the region. So Karhal has a total votes of 3,71,261. The number of male voters, 2,1,394. The number of female voters, 1,69,851. Now in 2017, the Samajwadi parties Sovaran Singh Yadav defeated the BJP's Rama Shakya by 40,000 votes. Now, why do I mention this? 2017 was a wave for the Bharatiya Janata Party. In the middle of that wave, Karhal was delivered to the Samajwadi Party by a margin of 40,000 votes. So it's a safe seat, an assumption that it is a safe seat for the Samajwadi Party. Now, the big question is, can Akhilesh Yadav retain the Karhal fortress and by extension, and can by extension also retain his control over a stronghold, this entire region? So why do we say this? Well, there are many districts in this region. You've got Eta, Itawa, Manpuri, Kannauj, Kasganj. Farukhabad, and in these districts are a total of 29 constituencies which, are, which were traditionally considered as the Samajwadi Party fortress. <laughs> that this will definitely go to the Samajwadi Party. What happened in 2017 was that of these 29 seats, 22 went to the BJP. This was not the case in 2012 when the Samajwadi Party won. Samajwadi Party had a strike rate of 90%, more than 90% from the home turf. That is why they called it the home turf. But in 2017, this fortress was breached with Akhilesh Yadav back in his fortress, 
Is this an attempt by the Samajwadi Party to regain control, not in your home turf, but also send a message to the entire state? That is how significant Karhal is.